Hey there friends and enemies, Jopi here again and today we got some pretty big Destiny 2 news to talk about including some basically free god rolls that'll be on the way in the near future. We also have double drops coming to the Vesper's Host Dungeon and a hotfix to correct the RNG perk waiting issues in Destiny 2 that have been going on for quite some time. So if you missed all of that, essentially what was happening is certain rolls were less common than other roles in the game. Basically, a perk in one column would have a higher chance to drop with other perks, and then certain perks in the second column would be less likely instead. So the farther away those perks were on the list, the less likely the chance that they would roll together. Now this led to certain god rolls being easier to get, and other god rolls being harder to get. And so because of that, it did feel like certain roles, especially in dungeons, where there was no crafting, it was all pure RNG, those certain roles on weapons that were really desired by the community were not dropping basically at all. And so now this should be corrected, and so there should be a equal chance of all perks rolling together at the same time. So essentially there will be no perk waiting going forward, which... This is obviously a big drama in a game that relies on RNG like Destiny 2 and doesn't have the most plentiful loot dropping system. It isn't Borderlands where you're basically flooded with loot. Instead, it does feel like there are limited opportunities to get these gun rolls and farming dungeons has always felt less rewarding than a lot of other ways to farm weapons. And so that's why I think you don't see it as often as even raids, which is kind of crazy considering you need more players, but it's just less effective, especially because you can't craft weapons or anything like like that. Now, as far as the double drops on November 19th to December 3rd, the Vespers Host Dungeon will offer double drops for encounter and activity completions. Both weapon and armor rewards can drop from encounter completions. This will be a great time for you to hunt your desired rolls and weapons or even hit master difficulty to earn some artifice armor. I don't like this necessarily because I wish it was simply weapons because once you get the armor one time, it's really not a great feeling to have the armor drop. Even artifice armor often feels less worthwhile than chasing strictly weapons, but at least we have double drops, so that's increasing the likelihood that you will get the weapons that you're looking for. Now, also on November 19th, Banshee will have a small collection of weapons in the tower with curated perk rolls. Our goal is to get you some perk combinations that were a bit harder to earn due to the bug. We do not currently have a planned deadline for acquisition, but we recommend picking these up at your earliest convenience. So, the rows, we got Fluid Bearer, Accurized Round, Slide Shot, Explosive Payload, Smooth Grip, Handling Masterwork. This is one I know people have chased. I'm not really a big Rose fan, but there are folks who use it in PV pretty religiously, so they'll be happy if they don't have this already. The multi Mac, I have a good role for this one, but... Polygon, Tactical Mag, Attritional Orbs, and Kinetic Tremors, and Reload Masterwork. So this is one with Kinetic Tremors. Some people will definitely want to check this out. And uh, I do think it's a solid weapon, but it has been power crept just a bit. Then we've got Indebted Kindness. I have a really good role for this one, but Smart Drift, Control, Tactical Mag, Loose Change, and Volt Shop, and a Velocity Masterwork. So if you don't have this, this is one of the Rocket Sidearms. It is a fantastic weapon, and I highly recommend picking this up if you don't have one already because of how good it actually is. And uh, yeah, this season, Volshot is actually pretty solid as well. So throw this one back on and hopefully we see a rise in usage because I do think in Dead Kindness is a very good weapon. Then we've got the Compass Rose, Corkscrew Rifling, Light Mag, Snapshot Sights, Slide Shot, and a Handling Masterwork. If you are a shotgunner in PvP, this could be a good role for you, but... I don't know how good the compass rolls will actually be and how, if a lot of people will be rocking with this one. Then we've got the Adept High Head. This is kind of crazy. Hard launch, impact casing, tracking, and clown cartridge, and a reload masterwork. So if you don't have a good Adept High Head, this is a great opportunity. I feel like mine roll that I have is better than the one we're getting here, but it is a nice 
make good for those who farmed a ton or even farmed just a little bit and were unable to get the role that they're looking for and then finally we have the vs chill inhibitor this is the new grenade launcher from the vespers host dungeon with counter mass spike grenades envious bait and switch and a reload mass work this is what i'm going to be picking up but keep in mind dungeon related weapons will require dungeon ownership and at least one dungeon completion so you you may not want to farm the new dungeon yet but if you have not gotten the clear of the vespers host yet you're going to want to do so before you're able to get the vs chill inhibitor whether that is when the double uh drops go live on november 19th or before that doesn't matter I'm probably going to wait and just farm it once the double drops is available. And if you're looking to run with anybody, definitely let me know in the comments. My name is Joe Perrites on uh, Bungie as well. So if anyone wants to add me and start doing some runs for the dungeon once it's available, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we get a community together. People can do consistent runs. That is something that I'm always looking forward to. But anyway, yeah, so we're still aiming at, to have a deep dive article talking through this issue this may take a bit of time and we plan to provide a target date when we can so very good information i think this is a pretty solid make do a lot of people are probably going to be still frustrated because they spent a lot of time and energy farming for some of these roles and were never able to get them to drop but now that it's going to be fixed going forward at least we have that as an option and i'm just looking forward to chasing some of these roles and really diving deep into the vespers host because i haven't played it as much as i would have liked so far so this is a great opportunity anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like the video subscribe as always my name is jopa have a good one i'll catch you all later